the most populated area we have in the country along that I-95 corridor. And we've got a lot of rain for about two and a half days that we're going to deal with. Uh, and notice the flood threat. Friday today, we've got a flood threat here, the bullseye of that, just to the north of the D.C. Beltway. Uh, and then going to tomorrow, that flood threat just extends a little farther towards the north. But look at Sunday. The Weather Prediction Center just increased this threat chance here for western uh, areas of New, of New York and parts of central Pennsylvania. So very significant rain, and it's going to be coming in two bouts of rain. So take a look at this. You can see live on the left side of your picture there, uh, live shot out of Baltimore and out of D.C., both of them getting a lot of rain right now, although a little bit of a break. I think you've got some more rain coming your way. But take a look at that. Heavier showers really around the Philadelphia area and just about to start in New York City throughout the overnight hours. That will continue to extend farther towards the north. Also, take this back towards the west. Areas over towards Buffalo, around Rochester, even back over towards Detroit, getting some pretty significant showers and some severe weather across parts of Ohio and West Virginia. Not looking at this point uh, at anything tornadic, but certainly some hail and some very strong winds with this. Also notice that cell there across parts of North Carolina uh, that we've got some really significant thunderstorms going on there. Now take a look at the future radar with this storm. This all continues to pull off towards the north. So by the morning, if you're headed out in the morning, maybe to walk your dogs, we've got some very big showers going on really across the entire state of New York, headed in across parts of Connecticut throughout the day. That continues to stretch farther north and we'll see it uh, covering pretty much all of New England throughout the day. And then that is into Sunday morning. And then we get this little break. Then the next batch of showers, this next showers, that's all of these storms that we see right now across areas of Texas will be across parts of the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic for our Sunday afternoon into Monday morning. This right here is Sunday afternoon. You see the idea, all of those yellows and reds, some really strong showers and storms here. Nothing I don't think that's going to be severe, but maybe a little bit of lightning with this and definitely that threat for flooding because so many of these storms are going to be falling for kind of a long time and uh, causing uh, that threat for flooding. Look at that Monday morning, Bridget. We still have the showers across New England and on the western side of this where that low, the upper level low still hangs on, a little bit of snow potentially across that area. As no well. fun not wanting to think about, I think, Monday morning for yeah. many of us and not wanting to think about the potential of more snow At all. as we're yeah. kind of in the middle now of the spring season. Yeah. A lot of people are over that fact. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.